Tell me what happened. I was 15. I, I, I just lost my mum and I was depressed. Though I, I, I didn't understand that then. Dad had started drinking and he sort of cut himself off from me. I suppose it's because I reminded him so much of Mum. So I, I started to look for affection where I could find it. What did he say when you told him you were pregnant? Oh, that there was no noticeable bump at all. I, I, I just looked fat. So, do you remember these? It was the shawl I, I wrapped you in. Beautiful, isn't it? Do you know who made it? I'm not sure. I found it. It, it was in the airing cupboard. Uh, I think it, oh, it was ages ago. Perhaps my mum, my grandmother. I've got to go. Oh, not yet. I'm expected home. Well, maybe we can fix another date. We could have coffee or something. No, I I'd rather you didn't keep in touch. But I've only just found you. I don't want my husband to find out about you. A about what I did. Please, try to understand. Always. What do you want? I'm sorry I walked out. Both times. But it's awkward with my family. But I've woken up in the morning thinking about you, Jan. Every single day. You do believe that, don't you? You didn't have to pretend to have a perfect life. You're my mum and I, I, I would love you once and all. It's not like I can pretend I'm going to be some perfect daughter to you, because I'm not, and Paul will tell you. I could be a right pain in the backside. But we've got to be truthful with each other, OK? That's all right, isn't it? I just can't. Mum, please! <laughs> She knows it's a fake. And she's prepared to forgive you. I can't bear to look her in the face. You're not paying me enough for this. Don't try and play me, Amanda. I'm not. Okay. I want out. All right, I'll bite. How much more? What's going on? I'm sorry, Jan. I... <sighs> oh, dear. Mm. Oh. I'm just looking. Oh, carry on. Are these fresh? Oh, yes. Any fresher, they'd be insulting. <laughs> this one's bruised. You see, by spotting that, you just won my discerning customer award. Which means that you can purchase a pack of yoghurt for less than cost. But this young man here, he worries about me practically giving stuff away. Think of it more as a, a community service. Mm. There you are. Which doctor will be delivering baby? Mr. Gascoigne. At home or in the hospital? Here, of course. It seems foolish not to when everything's so well appointed. Your floral arrangements are certainly a feature. <laughs> These are exceptional. My concern is purely with the nurseries and the kitchen, which I would like to view. Mm -hmm. 